Hello, paper florists. The challenge flower for this month is the Lysanthus. Here's my version of it, and I don't have any buds or leaves made yet, but I will soon. There's going to be a few different demos this month done by different admin members, and we're going to be showcasing different parts of this flower. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all about the center and how to build that. So let's get started. So here is what we're going to be making. This is the Losanthus center without the petals. So here's what you need to make the center. This is an 18 gauge wire. I've got some strips of dark green crepe paper to wrap the bottom of the center. I've got a one and a half inch by one and a half inch square of light green heavy crepe. I've got a one and a quarter inch by one and a quarter inch square of light yellow crepe. And I've got a half inch by one and a quarter inch piece of yellow orange heavy crepe. And this is actually going to be used this direction with the grain running horizontally. I've got tacky glue scissors and I have something to curl the little tips of the stamen. It could just be a piece of extra wire or a bamboo skewer or one of these scriber tools. The first part we're going to work on is the stigma right here in the center, the green part. So I'm going to take my little square of green paper. I'm going to fold it in half just so I can make a little crease where that halfway point is. And now I'm going to apply some tacky glue. I want to distribute a bunch of little dots of tacky glue or little stripes all over half of this piece of paper. You just want to distribute a small amount of glue all over the surface. And now I'm going to fold it in half and press down, press it between my fingers, really get that glue set in there on both sides of the paper. And it might stretch out just a little bit as you do this, that's totally fine. That's good. Now I'm going to fold in half again and repeat that process. So I've got a nice even coating of glue and I'm going to fold it in half. And again, press down between your fingers to really get that glue set together. Once it's all nice and pressed together and the glue is all distributed between the layers, take your scissors and make a vertical cut going about um, three quarters of the, of the way along the center of the piece. So you've got two little flaps here. Now I'm going to take the top quarter inch of each little flap and bend it backwards. So now I have two little flaps that are bent backwards on my, on my pieces here. Now I'm going to take a stripe of glue along each little segment from the fold line down to where the end of the cut is. So you can see a little stripe of glue that starts at the fold and ends where the cut stops. And I'll do one over here as well. Now I'm going to take each little half and Pinch it together where that glue is. So I'm pinching in between the area that was folded and where the cut stops, all along that glue line. I'm going to do that to both little sections of my stigma. So just pinch it together. and kind of squeeze it between your fingers to make sure that the glue starts to set. And now reinforce that fold that you did earlier to make sure that that's folding back. Now we have the basis for our stigma piece and I'm going to round the edges of each little top And now I've got a little area here that is perfect for putting on the top of my wire. So I'm going to put some tacky glue here. I'm 
And now I'm going to take my wire and attach this right there at the top. And I'll overlap these little loose ends just a little bit to kind of completely enclose that wire. Now I'll give it a good squeeze. And I'm going to take one paper strip here and wrap that around to secure it. So make sure that you start on top of that green paper and then carefully roll downwards onto the stem to really secure that piece on there. And once you have it attached, then go back and refine the shape just a little bit. We want these top parts to fold down like this, just like that. And now we'll give this a few minutes to dry. And once it dries, it's going to hold its shape really well because you've got all those layers of glue in here. You don't even need a piece of wire in these shapes because the glue will provide it with the structure that it needs. The next thing we're going to do here is the individual stamen and anthers. So I'm gonna take my small square of yellow crepe and I'm going to start out the same way as I did with the stigma. I'm going to fold this in half, make a little crease, and then put tacky glue here on half of this paper and then fold it over and press together. Now I'm only going to do this uh, one time for this part. I don't need to fold it over again. But I do want to really press this in between my fingers and make sure it's sealed up really well. Okay, now I'm gonna take my piece of yellow orange crepe and again, you wanna make sure that the grain is running horizontally on this piece. Here, we'll get it trimmed up before we even glue it. That's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get tacky glue all over this piece. These small pieces can be hard to control. Just do your best to get a bunch of little dots or little stripes all over this piece. So I'll take my piece of yellow crepe and place it here so that about a quarter inch of it goes into the orange crepe. Press it down to get it stuck and then fold over the top of this orange piece just like that. Now I'm going to give this a good press as well. Now give this piece just a couple of minutes to set before moving forward to the next step. All right, now we're ready to finish up this piece. So I'm gonna just carefully trim off any extra orange crepe from the top that goes over the edge. Now I want to cut this into six even pieces to use as the individual stamen. So first I'm going to cut it in half all the way and now I'm gonna cut each of these pieces into thirds. Now I've got six pieces that are approximately the same size to use for my stamen. Now for each little piece, I want to trim the very top edge of the orange paper so that it comes into a point. So I'm just going to cut off a little bit from the top edge of each side so that it comes into a point, just like this. And I'm going to take my tool and curl the very edge of this anther, just like that, so that it's got a little curl right at the top. And then the last thing for this piece is to pinch the yellow in between your fingers and give it a nice little roll. You don't have to worry about the bottom here. In fact, it, that might be easier if you just leave that part flat. But most of this stamen here, you can just pinch and roll in between your thumb and finger 
and that will be enough to make it look a little bit more slender here in the middle. So finish all of your stamen just like this. All right, we've got all six stamen here, and now we're going to attach them onto the center. I'm gonna take each little stamen and put just a little bit of glue here at the base. Now, when I glue it on, I wanna make sure that this little curve points away from the center. So I've got my glue here, and I'm going to attach one right here, so it's roughly the same height as the stigma. Now an easy trick to get these six stamen evenly spaced on the center is to put the next one directly across from the first one. Just like that. And now I can fill in the other two right here and two more right here. All right, my stamen are all attached. They're a little close to the center right now, but before I adjust the position, I want to add some additional crepe paper down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna take some of these green strips. I'll start with four strips and I'll prep them with a little bit of tacky glue. So I'm going to take the strips and I'm gonna start right here so that I overlap the point where the stamen attaches. I'm gonna wrap around several times and then I'm gonna start making my way downward just a little bit. Let's attach a few more strips. So I'm building up some thickness right around where the stamen are attached, but also just a little bit below. This will provide a nice little spot for me to attach the petals. All right, I think that's pretty good. So the last thing to do here is to pull the stamen away from the center just a little bit, just so you can see all the pieces. There we go, that's good. All right, so that's it for your Lysanthus center, and now we're ready for some petals. So I'm gonna pass this over to Susan, and she's gonna take over the tutorial from here. Here you go, Susan.